M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Yesu FT857. It's going to show you how to set up the display. So all you do is go function, hold down function. Let's go by the brightness first. So menu number 43, okay, so they're here, 43 is the brightness. Look, one, two, three. It does make quite a difference. A nice looking screen. Okay, then turn the channel knob here. Display contrast. Now I find nine is the best one where you're not getting the, the black show through. If you go lower, it's a bit too faint. Nine's fine. As soon as you go higher than nine, you start to get that effect in the back. So I find nine and then that's the contrast. Now we'll go, that's menu 42. Now menu 41 is the colours. So it's brilliant the way they've done this. So that's a light sort of, uh, light, very light purple. And then it starts to go almost like a grey there. That is almost like, that is almost black and white. And then, then there's, it becomes a more obvious, very light green. And you, you can see now, with the background greyness, I could reduce it one more if I wanted to. If we just go to contrast, go down to eight and go back to number 41. And it starts to go blue. And it's, a, it's very nice shades of blue. I, I really like the way they've done this, actually. That on the screen is, a, is, is pretty much what you see when, you, when you're on the Yesu 818, that's what you see. Obviously, you've got fixed colours there, but yeah, this is very nice. So the popular one is that. We've got the lighter orange. I think I like that orange, to be honest. Uh, but it's all very nice. So that's menu number 41. Purple looks good, you know, whatever takes your fancy, really. That's your classic. And obviously, the LEDs, all, all the buttons light up, which is very nice. I mean, it's an excellent, excellent, you know, VFO style. It's almost like the cockpit of a Star Wars spaceship, isn't it? So that's it, really. Thought I'd show you that. And then just for, you get a nice stand with it. You go up and down the bands. If you hold down the function to get into the main function, brief press, and then you start to get a whole new lot of menus. One of my favorites is the one that's called DSP, which is not DSP filtering for display. Watch this. I like that. If we back out. It's just, uh, it looks like when you go back, you have your, your signal meters on the side. You tune here. It's just a lovely looking set, isn't it? I have put a screen protector on, I always, always do that. On off button, then you've got up and down the bands here, sorry, the modes, changing the modes. Let's get this right. It's changing frequencies. Is that because I'm in this function menu? Yes, yeah, so I'm quite new, I am new to this radio. So it looks like, do you permanently display these, the, the F menu, do you permanently display it? And you push F to change it. Yeah, push it again. It's, and the, each display menu is numbered, look, or lettered, LMNO, you know, alphabet, like so. The signal meter is here. And then when I did the display thing, Oh, you've got the step there. Oh, scoop. Let's have a look at that. Very nice. Wrong mode. So, LSB. Ah, oh, so when you do the scope, it mutes it. Dual watch. Split mode A and B. A to B. 
That's your filters, they're all on at the moment. There's your display. So you can make it bigger. So when you change the mode when you're in the big letters. Yeah, it is changing it. You don't see it. You don't see that you're changing it in small letters. Then you see it. I get it. All right, lots more to learn. Bye for now, 7-3.